A very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, my name is Hope. This is Burning Bush Ministries, and it's about preparing the, the bride of Christ. Um, before I begin, I would like to start with today's song, this hymn. It's called uh, To God Be the Glory. Since we're in the mood of uh, Passover, uh, which is Easter, I would like to start uh, a song, a song of the cross, you know. And uh, yeah, the song is about To God Be the Glory. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love it and wonder, he gave us his son. We did his life and atonement for sin. And opens the life gate, the all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus, the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believes the moment from Jesus, a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Great things he has taught us, great things he has done. Great and greater rejoicing through Jesus the Son, but purer and higher and greater will be a wonder of, a wonder of transform when Jesus will see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He reign, you reign, Adonai, you reign, you reign. Oh, you reign, Adonai, Adonai, you reign, you reign, you reign. Adonai, you reign, you reign. Adonai, you reign, Adonai, you reign. You reign, Adonai, you reign. Adonai, you reign, you reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, Adonai, you reign. You reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, Adonai, you reign, you reign, you reign. Adonai, you reign, Adonai, Adonai, you reign. You reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, you reign. You reign in my life, you reign over the world, Adonai, you reign. Adonai, you reign. Adonai, you reign. Amen. I would like to sing a, a, a hymn about uh, when I survived the wondrous cross. It's a hymn of the cross. A hymn of reflection of the cross. The hymn of reflection of the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. And this is one of my, my favorite, all-time favorite hymns. Okay, I want to start. When I so well the wondrous cross on which the Prince of glory died my riches Gain I count it, but lost and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in that cross of Christ my Lord, or the veil. I sacrificed 
than to his love. See from his hands, his his feet, sorrow and love flow mingling down. Did ever such love and sorrow meet? For tons composed, so rich and crowned. We are the Demines my soul, my life, my all. Hallelujah. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, there is power, mighty power in the blood. You are the mighty man in battle, El Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle, oh, glorious Father. You are the mighty man in battle, El Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle, glory. To your name. You reign, you reign. Adonai, you reign. Hallelujah. You reign, Adonai. Adonai, you reign. You reign, Adonai. You reign, Adonai. Adonai, you reign. You reign, Adonai. You reign. In my family, Adonai. You reign, you reign in our lives, Adonai, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, you reign, you reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, you reign, you reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai, you reign, you reign, Adonai, you reign, Adonai. You reign. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for the lives of my brothers and sisters. Those who are going to see this video, Lord, I pray that your mercy that endure forever. The mercy in the blood of Jesus, Father, will be sprinkled upon their hearts, upon their souls, upon their spirits, upon their mind, upon their body, Lord, that will come to repentance, to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, upon those who does not know you. Father, I pray that this video be a blessing to millions of people, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover this video with the blood of Jesus. I cover my everyone. I cover the words that will come out of my mouth through this video by the blood of Jesus. Let it be a blessing to those who are hurting. Let it be a blessing to those who are hardened. Let it be a blessing, Father, a blessing to those who are in pain, in agony, who are hurt. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that the, the power of the cross, the power, the resurrection power, the blood of Jesus Christ, that was shared on this day. Father, during the Passover, we speak into that need. We speak to that pain. We speak to that sorrow. We speak to that need of anyone that will see this video. Come in contact with this video in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the speak, the blood, the power, the deliverance, the power, the healing power, the forgiving power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Meet anyone that will come in contact with this video in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the mercy and the grace of God saturate this video. Saturate everyone. I'll come in contact with this video. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the privilege you have given me to do this, Lord. I will forever be thankful to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God the Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord uh, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I have a very a wonderful topic today in the, in the, as a result of the season we are in. Uh, the season of Passover, the season of Easter, the, Christ, the season of the... like. Uh, those who celebrate Easter, the crucifixion, the, 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 yeah, the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ, the pain the Lord went on the cross for the sins of the world, for my sin, for your sins. 
you know. I want to talk about why didn't the Lord Jesus pray for Judas, but prayed for Peter when he sinned. I, I repeat again, why didn't the Lord, why didn't the Lord Jesus Christ pray for Judas when he sinned, but he prayed for Peter when Peter sinned. Uh, please, you know, I'm a, a Bible-based person, it's my calling. Whatever I do is according to the word of God because I think it's very important. Not only me thinking, the Lord Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So, um, that is our spiritual food. As we hunger, when we hunger and thirsty for food, human the human food, drink that to sustain our physical body. So, we need food, our spiritual being, our spiritual body, our, spiritual, our spirit needs the word of God, which is our spiritual food. So that is why I like to, whenever I'm doing, whatever I'm doing about this uh, channel, I like to go back to the word of God because that's the basic, that's the basic, the basis of what I'm doing and the instruction of God of, of, of me, you know. So before I, be, I, begin, I begin, I would like to go to begin with uh, the gospel of John chapter. Uh, the, I would like, no, not the gospel of John, sorry, I'm very sorry for that. I would like to begin with the Gospel of Mark. The Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 2, verse 13 to 17. The Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 2, verse, uh, verse two verses 2 to 17. The Gospel of St. Mark, verses 2, uh, uh, the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 13 to 17. I begin. I want to, you know, lay a foundation why the Lord Jesus Christ did not pray for Judas when he sinned. He didn't pray for Judas, but he prayed. When Judas sinned, the Lord Jesus Christ did not pray for him. He prayed for Peter instead when Peter sinned. They both sinned, but he prayed for one and did not pray for another. Why? Why was it like that? Oh, I think I'm missing something. I think I went too far. Too far. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, uh, the gospel of that I want to be uh, gospel of Saint Mark chapter two verses uh, thirteen to seventeen. I read. I'm I'm reading from uh, the uh, the Bible um, King James uh, version of the Bible. And he went forth again by the seaside, and all the multitude to res resorted unto him, and he taught them. And as he as he passed by, he saw Levi the son of Alphaeus sitting at his recept. Recept of uh, custom and said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with him, with Jesus and his disciples. For there was there were many, and they followed him. And when the scribes and the Pharisees saw him eat with publicans and sinners. They said unto his disciples, How is it that he eateth and drinketh with publishers and sinners? 17. The Lord Jesus replied, When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole, whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The Lord Jesus kept passing by, Passing by along the, along, um, he, because he started ministry, in ministry in uh, Galilee, along the seaside, he saw, uh, a Levi, a Levi, that's one of the, the custodian of the, of the priest, of, uh, the Jewish, uh, uh, the, the, the priest, that was Levi. He saw him, it was a, um, it was a publisher, a publisher like, a, like, um, uh, it was a, a publisher like, um, a tax, um, a tax collector. He saw him, he told him, follow me. He stood up and followed him. But when they, and then other people, sinners, other people, he followed him to his eyes, his own house, the house of the, this uh, Levi, Levi. As he got into his eyes, his, his home, publisher, and a lot of publishers were there. That's where the tax collectors and sinners were there. They sat together eating with them. But when the Pharisees and the scribes saw that, that happened, they saw, oh, this man eating with sinners. And the, the Lord Jesus Christ replied that they, he did not come for those who are righteous. He came for those who are sinners. That is sin is a sickness. Sin is a sickness. He came for those who are sin sick. He came for them. He did not come for those who are righteous, who are, 
uh, physically, spiritually uh, healthy and physically healthy. He came for sinners. So that's why he was eating with them. He was not ashamed to eat with them because exactly the people he was eating with, he, he came from. So I want to lay here a foundation why the Lord Jesus Christ did not pray for, did not pray for uh, Judas, but he prayed for, um, was, he prayed for Peter. So I want us to go to the Gospel of Luke, St. Luke chapter 5. The Gospel of St. Luke chapter 5. Chapter 5. Uh, okay, John, the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 5, the same. It is the same thing that the Lord Jesus came, he came for sinners, not for the righteous. So I want us to go back again to, to go to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 26, uh, from 6, verses 6 to 10. Verses 6 to 10. Uh, the Gospel of uh, Matthew chapter 26. The Gospel of Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 26, uh, from verses 6 to 10. 26, 6 to 10. So, we have seen that the Lord Jesus Christ came for, he did not come for righteous ones, he came for sinners. The people who called were sinners. He called tax collectors. Tax collectors in those days were people who were being, they were not, they, they were people never didn't like them. Why? Because of the, the, the system, they, they collected, they overcollected the tax of people and they took over, they cheated in their tax collecting. So people despised them, people hated them. And exactly the society, the society of them was corrupt. The spirit of mammon was the order of the day. Exactly such people he came from. He came for those who were sick of their sins. He, and they, they, all his disciples were sinners he, 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 who were struggling with sin, including Judas as well. So I want to establish a foundation here. Why the Lord Jesus Christ did not pray for Judas, but he prayed for Peter. So uh, the Gospel of uh, Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 26, um, 26 from verses 6 to, to 10, I read. Now when Jesus was in Beth, uh, Beth, uh, Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of, of very precious ornament and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? 9. For this ornament might have been sold for much and given to the poor. 10. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. 11. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. Here, if you, if you go back here, we notice in verse, in verse 8, um, Gospel of Matthew chapter 26, verse 8. When this lady, when the, the woman, that's Mary Magdalena, was the one who poured the, the, the ointment upon the Lord Jesus Christ. He poured it. it was a very costly ointment. He poured it. When his disciples saw it, they said they were verse eight. Verse eight. And when his disciples saw saw it, they had indignation, saying, "To what purpose is this? This waste? They call it a waste. For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor." So, you see. So if we go to Gospel of John, Gospel of John, that is stated that uh, uh, Judas was a thief. They say Judas said, Oh, why should that be poor? This such an ornament. Well, Judas said, don't mention the gospel of gospel of the gospel of St. John. That Judas said, Oh, why should that such an ornament be wasted? They should have reserved it and sold it and, and used it for the poor. They, then, that they, then they went down after that statement and said, He did not say because he wanted to help the poor. No, because he was a thief. So we see here, even the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel of St. Matthew, they say they are. They, they decide, they, all the, most of the disciples, they, they, they complain, why this waste? To so telling you that, you know, anyone who is, the only who gave it, they not complain, but the disciples complain. To so tell you that the people, the Lord Jesus called, they had problem with the, with, uh, with the spirit of greed. They had problem with greed. Not just the, uh, uh, Judas Iscariot, but all, his, this, all the other disciples, they had problem with greed, money, mammon. But if you see now, they were all had all they all had this problem, not just Judas alone, they all had the problem. That's what the foundation wants to establish that they all had a problem of greed, mammon. Because the lady, the woman, the Mary Madalena, who bought that ornament, who very according to 
the gospel of uh, St. Matthew 26, verse, uh, verse 7. It said, There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ornament and put it on his head as he sat at meat. He put on the head of the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who had it, who had that expensive ornament, did not complain. It was a pleasure, it was a pleasure for him, for her, to pour it on the Lord, to give it to the Lord. She did not complain. But the people who were there was not even theirs. We are the one complaining. You see, anyone who has the spirit of mammon, they have funny difficulty in giving. If they see anyone giving, they'll complain, they start complaining. Even though it's not theirs, they'll start complaining. So all the disciples they had this problem, including Judas. So I'm trying to establish a, a foundation why the Lord didn't pray for Judas when he sinned, but he prayed for Peter. So let's continue again. That is the state of their heart here was revealed. That they had, they, they had all the disciples had problem with uh, mammon. They were, they were, they had problem, problem with greed and lost, lost for mammon and greed. So let's uh, continue. Let's continue. I want us to go to the, the same gospel of Saint Luke, uh, Saint Matthew twenty six. I uh, want us to go now from uh, verses fourteen, verses fourteen to twenty three. So. Uh, 14. Then one of the disciples called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priest and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they convened and they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him, to betray the Lord Jesus Christ. We see here, they all the disciples of the most of them had a problem with it because the Lord said he came not to he was sitting with publishers and sinners the Pharisees and the scribes according to um, uh, the gospel of St. Mark chapter 2 uh, chapter 2 verses 13 to 17 said when the scribes and the, and the Pharisees saw it they said oh look with the Lord Jesus are eating with sinners and publishers so telling his, the Lord Jesus can reply to them that he came not for, for the righteous rather he came for he came not for the for the for the righteous came for those who are sick who are sin sick he came for those who need physician he's a physician he came for those who are sick looking for a way out of this this uh, predicament out of the bondage of sin out of the yoke of uh, they had the problem with mammon those around him how to come out of that no matter whatever problem you you have if you come to lord jesus christ with sincerity you'll be set free so the lord jesus christ told them then he did not come for righteous people he came for sinners he made it plain he did not come for the righteous. That's why he was sitting with them, communing with them in order to reach them. There were some of them were his disciples. So as we see here, here when the lady with the alabaster box came to anoint the Lord Jesus Christ on the head, he poured the anointment upon his head. He did not complain. He poured. If the person has it, he did not complain. Because she didn't have any problem with mama, she was sold out to the Lord Jesus Christ because he delivered her of uh, seven demons. She was happy to do that for him. But those who did not, it's not even there. They started complaining, telling you that they have problem with greed because there are people who have who are not uh, free willing they who are not um, there are people who have tight hand uh, are tight handed they don't give they when they see others giving they start to they see it as waste they start to complain telling you here but the other disciples of the Lord they had a repentant heart we Judas did not have we Judas did not have that heart so even though they all had the, the uh, same problem but Judas did not have, have a repentant heart. After this happened, the Lord Jesus Christ cautioned them, Why trouble ye, the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. But me, ye have not always. 12, verse 12. For in, the, in that she had poured this ornament on my body. She did it for my burial. Uh, verse 13. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also be that this that this woman had done be told for a memorial of her after this judas had it he proceeded verse 14 then one of the 12 one of the 12 called judas iscariot went unto the chief priest and said unto them what will ye give me and i will deliver him unto you and they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver and for that time he sought opportunity to betray the lord jesus christ so verse 17, now the first day of the feast of, okay, now he, he has gone. After this, he took his own leg, he carried himself, going to the Pharisees, knowing they were corrupt. They, these people, the, the Pharisees were, were very corrupt. They were hooked with the spirit of mammon. He went to them, asking them for money. He went to sell the Lord Jesus Christ. 
telling you the Judas was not repentant. He was not even, he was part of them. He was not with them. His heart was not with them. The card of anyone between the Lord Jesus Christ, the card was open. It was not that Judas was specifically picked. No, it could have been anyone. And I'm going to prove it later. It could be any of the disciples, anyone around them. But Judas, the Satan, Satan found uh, Judas as a result because his heart was receptive towards what Satan wanted, towards what the plan of Satan. His heart was receptive towards it, and Satan took him. He was willing to go that way. Satan found a very willing person and cooperated. He cooperated with Satan. So um, I want to go. Uh, okay, twenty-three. I want to go from eight. Um, uh, verses um, that is 26 verse um, verse okay let's begin from the 17 23 uh, um, Saint Matthew Saint Matthew chapter 26 verses 17 to 23 and now the first day of the feast of unloving, unloving bread the disciples came to Jesus saying unto him we are with thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover. 18. And he said unto, he said, go into the city to such a man and said unto him, the master said, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at the house with my disciples. With my disciples. And the disciples did, did as Jesus had appointed them. And they made ready the Passover. 20. Now, when the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve. 21 and and as they eat he he said verily i said unto you that one of you shall betray me he said the lord jesus christ christ said one of you shall betray me the all the 12 disciples was there judas was one of the 12 he was there too 22 and they were exceedingly sorrowful and began every one of them to say unto him lord is it i all of them including judas who went to the pharisees and described to ask him for money, how to pay him the covenant with them to save the Lord Jesus Christ. He, when the Lord said, one of you will betray me. One of you shall betray me. They became, all became sort of, including Judas too, was sorrowful. The betrayer was sorrowful as well. He was sorrowful and they began to ask, Lord, is it I? Including Judas, ask to Lord, is it me? Telling you that this heart of Judas was hardened. Because when the Lord, when the Lord called them, they all had a problem. They were all sinners. They had, all had a problem of grief. But the rest of the disciples, the 12, of, the 11 of them, had a repentant heart. Their hearts were very repentant too. They were, they were seeking to be changed. Because when the Lord started teaching them, the teachings of the mountain of uh, the Sermon on the Mount, the, the seven, the ten commandments, teaching them, seek the Lord, the, the kingdom of God, and his righteousness first, and every other thing shall be added. He was part of it. The disciples started changing their mindset. The Lord certain change a transformation of their mind, deliverance of transformation of transformation was taking place in them. But Judas refused to be changed. That is the danger of coming as you are and remaining as you are. The Bible said the, the Lord Jesus wants us to come as we are, but we should not remain as we are, as we came. Come as you are, so sin laden, as broken as you are, as deep soaked in sin as you are. But the, please don't remain as you came. Seek to change. Long to change, learn to take instruction, learn to take, take when the Lord is pointing at something. Don't be hardened, otherwise, you end up like Judas. That is the problem of Judas. Judas came, he did not come to be part of the Lord Jesus Christ, he came to what he could gain. He came for because of the, the he was hooked with the spirit of mammon, he was hooked because he did not care for what they were doing. His ears was he was interested in money, he was not, he did not come to be changed, he did not come to be transformed. That was why the Lord did not pray for him. Because here yeah, they were all sort of, including Judas, they came sort of asking, is it I? Because it was one of the twelve. And, 20, and 23, verse 23, uh, St. Matthew chapter 26, verse 23. And he answered and said, he that dipped his hand with me in, this, in the dish, the same shall betray me. 24. The son of man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It, is, it, has been go, it has been good for that man if he had not been born. So you see, the card was, was open. Judas was not handpicked, no. Judas was not said, oh, Judas should carry it out. 
That card was open. Could be, anyone was receptive. Anyone could be. Jude, the, 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 the Satan could not find a landing ground any of the disciples except Judas because he refused to change. He became hardened. He came as a he, he came as a sinner. He remained a sinner. He refused to be changed, even though he was part of the twelve. Even was asking questions, became sort of that was the deceiving, the deceitfulness of sin. Before the Lord spoke, because the Lord really released the judgment on whosoever. He said, I will go as if my father had called me to go. But woe be unto that man the Satan will use to carry out this mission. So the card was open. Anyone could have been it. But Judah chose that is true. That is, I pray that Satan will not find a landing ground. In our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why it's good to do prayer, purging prayers, deliverance prayer, the blood of Jesus to purge and cleanse us. Any receptiveness, anything, anything that's any linkage between us and Satan, any seed of devil, any seed of sin, any seed of, of, of Satan or of the of serpent in us that pulling us towards sin, that bring us approach. Let the blood of Jesus wash it off our, our blood. Let the sword of fire of God cut it off. Let the Holy Ghost purge it out of our blood, out of our souls, out of our bloodstreams. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's continue. 20, um, verse 25. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? I. What an evil man. He said, Master, is it I? He, and then the Lord said unto him, Thou hast said. Did the same man, the same Judas Iscariot went to the Pharisees, the scribes, and covenanted with them with that day, to give him 30 uh, pieces of silver so that he can betray the Lord, Jesus Christ. At the same time, eating with them. All others are sorrowful. The Lord asked him questions. He could have said, oh, oh, please, it's me. I did it all. No. He said, oh, is it I? He became sorrowful. Who could that be? Even though he knew himself, he was the one. Even the Lord said, one of you, if the Lord had pronounced the word already because he did not speak. When the Lord said, one of you, that deepens with me. He was everyone asking, oh, is it me? He said, one of you that deepens with me and eating with me in this, in this, uh, in this place will be the one to betray me. He was asking, is it everyone asking, is it me, is it me? He to himself asking, is it me? That was when the Lord knew. His heart had been sealed. His, his heart has been hardened. He was unrepentant. He couldn't pray for him because he couldn't pray for him. He, he, the Lord began, he spoke who? He spoke the judgment on who? Ever that will be that will carry out that uh, this evil act. Somebody had to carry it out. But it was very, he said, this one was even more, much, is it very painful because it was one of them eating with him there, see denying and saying no, saying, pretending and saying, is it me? Household wickedness. We should not ache out, we linger to repent when the Lord is pointing out a sin in our lives. Otherwise, you become hardened. Otherwise, become hardened that your heart will be so sealed, sealed up that the Lord, the God who is self will nourish you. You'll be so hardened. You cannot cry for, for mercy anymore. It is not a lot of portion. It is not a portion. It is not a portion of our families and children in the name of Jesus Christ. It will never be a lot. And it will never be the lot of anyone watching me or our loved ones in Jesus. And we will heed to the, the, the promptings of God. We heed to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, the leading of God, the correction of God we will be, will be sweet. To heal it, to heal to it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, and then 26, verse 26. And as they were eating, Judas, uh, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, take it. This is my body. And he, and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to, to him, to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my, my blood. Of the new covenant or the new covenant which is shared for many for the remission of sins 29 but i said unto you i will not drink henceforth of this food of the vine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's kingdom so that was here was the the fate of uh, judas was sealed his fate was sealed there was no going back his judgment was already sealed why I want to go to um, Genesis chapter 9, verse um, 6. Genesis chapter 9, verse 6. Though for those who are saying Old Testament to New Testament, there's no Old Testament, there's no New Testament. New Testament. The word of God is the same. The only thing that is not there is the, those uh, 
or cleaning that animal sacrifices and all that, those ceremonial things are no longer. But every other word speaks. Every other word speaks. If you don't die physically, what we are dead was born that's all. The person will die spiritually. So Genesis chapter 9, verse 6, about uh, Judas drank. He ate the blood of Jesus Christ with him. He drank the, the, the body of Christ. He ate the body. He drank the blood with them. He eating, he ate the person he has killed. That was his judgment. Let's go to Genesis chapter 9, from verse 6. He said, Whosoever shedeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. That is the judgment of God upon anyone who will shed human blood. This um, Judas had betrayed Jesus Christ. He had the blood on his hand. And he ate his blood too. It, the judgment was already sealed. If you want to go to uh, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Chapter 11 verse... Um, you know, to get the whole thing, we begin from... Um, from um, let's begin from uh, verse um, uh, 23. He said, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the same, hmm, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, take it, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. 25. And after the same manner, also he took the cup when he had soft, uh, uh, soft saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as, as ye drink it in remembrance of me. 26 comes the warning. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. 27. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, who shall eat and who shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. He said, 28. But let a, a man examine himself and let him eat of that bread and drink of and drink of that cup. 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the body, the lost body. 30. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. You see, the judgment of Judas, because he, he had blood on his hand, still eating. The one he has killed, spiritually killed already, he still eating. That was why the fate of Judas was sealed, was sealed up. Being, if you come to the Lord, those who are in Christ Jesus Christ, in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are born again. If the Lord is prompting you of something, do not harden your heart. Do not be hardened and say you do it all in your own. Those who come to the Lord, you say, I want to be my own, I want to do my Christianity, I don't want to go to church, I want to do it my own way. It doesn't work that way. We have to be under a government. We have to be under, we have to be taught. We have to be taught the ways of God. You know, when God they prompt you about something, maybe you're disciplined or something from a church, you run away. You want to do it your own way. My brother, my sister, in case you're listening, please go back. Go and apologize. Go through the discipline and let's try to be renewed, to be refreshed. If you go and rebel on disobedience, you'll be hardened. Your heart will be hardened. It's not only about when you say somebody you betray or you have blood in your hand. If you leave your rebellion, your heart will be hardened. At a time that your heart will be so sealed with iron. Like a hot iron, that you repentance will be very hard. You'll be, you'll be hardened that you don't even see that anything. Then, which will lead at the end to perdition. To per perdition. It will lead you to perdition. To destruction. So, you see, because Judas has killed the Lord Jesus Christ spiritually, he's still eating with them. The Lord spoke war. If that was why there was no way out. The Lord did not pray for him. He did not pray. He did not pray for him. Even when Peter, when we say, Peter. When the Lord Jesus said, was talking about going to the cross, and Peter said, no, Lord, you cannot do it. Lord Jesus said, Peter, get thee behind me. You, Satan. Call Peter, Satan. Peter was originally the one Satan had desired to use. But due to Satan, uh, due to Peter had a repentant heart. Peter was the one Satan desired to use Peter to, to, to sweep him. But due to there was a repentant heart in the soul of Peter. 
Peter was not hardened. Even though he was a sinner, he had a problem with mammon too. Like we saw when the lady with the alabaster boss came, they were complaining. Is it, is it mammon that made them to complain? The what was they made them to complain, including Judas. But that's why they are complaining. They are complaining, but they had a repentant heart. They were not hardened. They were not hardened. But Judas Iscariot was hardened. Because why? He was a sight. His, his hunger, his longing was the mammon. He was not interested in repenting or whatever. Because when the Lord Jesus Christ was giving that caution, they were all there. He was also pretending to sorrow, pretending to ask, is it me? Oh, uh, who is it? Oh, ask who is it? Is it me? Call him Rabbi. Calling him Rabbi. Is it me? That is the, the, the result of a hearted heart. If you come, come to the Lord as you are, don't remain as you, you can. Seek to be transformed. Be, be gentle. Be, be submissive. Seek, learn to be a, a, a hearer. Don't be high-minded. Don't be full of pride. So that you will not be destroyed. You will not destroy yourself. You will not destroy your own life. You will not end up in destruction. You will not end up in a worse state than you can. So let's continue. Here. Um, here 36. That's um, Matthew chapter 26, 36 now. Then come Jesus with them unto a place called Gazimene. And saith unto his disciples, Sit ye here while I go yonder to pray. I don't want to read the whole thing, you know. Let me make it short. And um, at 47, and while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude, with sword and staves, from the chief priest and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave him a, gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him first, and fought. With, he came to Jesus and said, Hail master, Hail, master, and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came there and laid hands on him, on Jesus, and took him. So, um, um, that was how uh, uh, Judas betrayed them, the Lord Jesus Christ. He betrayed him. I want to go to uh, um, uh, St. Matthew 27 from 1. From chapter uh, the gospel of Saint Matthew, verse uh, chapter twenty-seven, from verse one. I want to read from verses one to ten. You know to conclude it. And when the morning was come, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. But when they had found bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilatus, the governor, then Judas, which had betrayed him, which when he saw that he was condemned repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See thou to it. So now he has come to repentance. It's too late. It's too late. The judgment has been passed. Everything has been done. The has blood in his hand already spiritually. He was carrying out. It was too late. When the time came to repent, to repentance, he refused. He was hardened. After he has finished his work, they then it was too late. I pray it is not our Lord in the name of Jesus. We will come to repent and the Lord is prompting we will be fast and um, fast and quick to repent in the name of Jesus Christ. So five, verse five, um, that's in Matthew chapter 27, verse five. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. You see, we read here and now, in Genesis chapter 9, verse 6, that any power that if you commit, any man that causes a human blood spirit will be killed. We read in the in, in, um, in, in 1 Corinthians 11, from 23 to, I think, to 30. He said, if you eat the, the body of Christ, drink and eat the body, the body and drink the blood unworthily. Judgment. Some are sick, some are, are, are sick, some are, are, are fallen, sick, some are weak, some are also are, are dead as a result. Not designing the body of Christ, the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. But this one, he ate it purposely, knowingly, in sin. Judas ate it purposely, he knew it was at fault. He ate even there. Repentance was at his door, playing, but he refused. That was why he had to hang himself. That duty had to be carried out. He had to kill himself. They, they, because the judgment pushed him to kill himself. 
There was no way out for him. It was carried out already. And then, um, and then uh, let me read again, uh, 27, Matthew 27, 6. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for to put for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. These evil people knew the, the heaviness, the, the matter of the, the money they paid him. They couldn't put it into their treasury because it has a negative effect on them. That, the, the money, that money, especially there's mark of blood on it, innocent blood on it. If anyone will come in contact with it, it will be a problem to him. The blood of Jesus Christ has a redeeming power, heart cleansing power, forgiving power. If you go come into in contact with it, unworldly, it will fight you. If you become rebellious, that you become so hardened, instead of that blood to, to speak for you, begin to speak against you. You can lose this power in your life. As a result, you'll be continue in rebellion and rebellion. The Lord will be warning you that the stage will come, your heart will be so sealed up that that blood will not have any effect over your life anymore. It is not our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty, in the mighty, it will never be our lot. It will never be the lot of our life, our children, our family, our family members in the name of Jesus Christ. Because that is what happened to Judas. And then, um, uh, verse 7, and they took cancer, cancer and brought with them, and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers. In they did not, they bought a field to bury strangers, not to Jewish people, strangers. Because it's a cursed, it's an accursed land. Even though the money, the that land, the carrying blood, is stain of blood, it's a price of money, it's a, the price of that land, it's blood, innocent blood. They know the implication of it. What led to Judas to this? Hardness, he came as a sinner like every other disciples, but he refused to change. He refused to repent. He refused to repent. He came as a the, the, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come as you are, come with sincerity as you are, but don't remain as you came. Don't remain as you came. Seek change, seek to be transformed, to be renewed, to be refreshed. And if you come with sincerity and honesty, you'll be refreshed, you'll be you'll be you'll be you'll be, you'll be changed. The word of God, the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ begin to build a new, a new system in your soul. But if you remain hardened, what to do on your way, it will lead you to destruction, to perdition. Uh, verse uh, 8. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Even to this day, that field is called field of blood. 9, verse 9. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah, uh, the prophet, saying, and they took the tiny, the 30 pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them, verse 10, and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me. My brothers and sisters, anyone that will come in contact with this video, like I've said, no matter how deep in sin you are, no matter how you think you have, you are lost, you're finished, there is, a, there is a, a redemption. The door of redemption is open. The blood of Jesus is capable to bring you out from any dungeon, any pit of sin, any waywardness, whatever the sin is. The blood of Jesus Christ is capable to bring you out. The blood of Jesus Christ is ever. The arms of the Lord, the pain the Lord Jesus Christ took, your rebellion, he was chastised for your rebellion. Your transgression, he was, your, for your transgression, he was beaten. He carried the pain. The, the judgment of your transgression was on him. Or your, that you committed the sin of your parents or your parents or your foundation or bloodline, the Lord Jesus Christ took it on himself. It's only yours is to come. Come as you are. His arms are wide open, asking you to come. But come as you are. When you come as you are, please don't remain as you came. Then remain as you came, please. I beg in the name of, mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to um, uh, finish with this, uh, this uh, scripture. Uh, this scripture, the Lord Jesus, when um, when Peter sinned, the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ prayed for him. The Lord prayed for him, according to the Gospel of uh, uh, Luke. The Lord prayed for him and told him, so "Look, he said, uh, Peter, Peter, Satan had desired to sift you, but I prayed for you. Satan they wanted to use Peter, but since he could not find Peter had a repentant heart, a broken heart." Because the Lord said in the book of to, to, um, King David, in the book of Psalms 51, he said, a contract and a broken heart, the Lord will never, never, never forsake. P 
Peter had a repentant and a broken heart. For which Judah did not have. Come as you are. No matter the heaviness of your sin. No matter whatever you have done. But don't remain as you came. Don't remain as you came. I pray that this video will be a blessing to you. When the Lord was speaking to me through this. And I was very. I'm blessed. I'm even blessed as I'm speaking this now. Come as you are. The Lord's arm is open for you. But don't remain as you came. The Lord bless you. May the Lord touch you. Visit your home. Visit your family. As you cry out to the Lord. Let them, the grace and the power and the mercy. The mercy in the blood of Jesus. Because they came to the mercy of God. The mercy of God came to us through the blood. Through the, 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 uh, the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ. That's why we obtain mercy. I pray that the mercy in the blood of Jesus Christ will, will, will reach you. The mercy in the blood of Jesus will save you. Will break the yoke of darkness over your soul. Will redeem you as when you come with the purity of heart. With sincerity, not purity, sincerity of heart. The purity of the Lord begins to purify you. We begin to transform you. We come to seek sanctification. It's very important. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And cause his mighty face to shine on you. Let the light of his glory consume every darkness upon any life. Upon any one, any man, or woman, any child, any one that will come in contact with this video. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you're not born again, what are you waiting for? Come to the Lord. On your own, you cannot stand in this world. This world is dark. It's wicked. There are forces seeking every day to destroy you. We, the only safety, the only insurance we have is the Lord Jesus Christ. What happened to him? What he did? How he handed himself free willingly to the cross. He came for sinners like you. He came, I, I came to him too. As a sinner, he redeemed me. That's what I'm doing, what I'm doing today. Come to him. The Lord will cleanse you. The Lord will wash you. If you come with sincerity, the blood of Jesus will, will purify, will purge and sanctify you. He will forgive you all your sins. He loves and cares for you. The Lord keep you. The Lord preserve you. See you next time. Remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.